Oh boy, I forgot about that guy. Oh wow, he's got fins on him. Check him out. Ouch, that hurt. Welcome back everybody to Icarus. I am an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to start off by going to all of our drills and gathering all the ore that has accumulated while we've been gone. Um, and then after that we're probably going to try out the thumper because I haven't had a chance to try that yet. I've been away from my base since that update came out. Uh, speaking of updates, uh, they just came out with the, the update that adds salt as a preserving thing and also the deep freezer and there was also some fixes or optimizations having to do with dropship locations which I don't really know what that's about uh, nothing unfortunately about fixing um, you know aiming with the rifle putting a scope on the rifle if that ever happens I still don't get that absolutely don't get that that's got to be the easiest thing in the world to do <laughs> And, uh, and just, you know, fixing the damn performance in this game. It's, uh, you know, I try to, I don't want to complain too much. I do love this game. If I didn't, I wasn't playing it. But you guys, if you've been watching me all along, you know, uh, my computer and this game don't like each other. Uh, I'm currently running everything on full medium settings. Well, when I say full medium settings, I mean the medium preset. Um, and it, I mean, it's working a little bit better. I'm using DX11 too. Though I haven't found any hard evidence that DX11 works better for me than DX12, but supposedly it's supposed to. Um, so it's running okay. It's still not as good as it should be for my system. You know, I'm sporting a 3060 Ti graphics card. Uh, I got an i7 X series um, 8060 or something processor overclocked to 4 gigahertz. All of my drives are M2 SSD drives. Um, and, you know, it's just, this game sh should run a lot smoother for me than it does. Because I don't have the same problems in other, you know, high-end, graphically intense games. So, you know, all I can do is, you know, wait and hope that they, they f fix some of the issues and optimize this game so that it runs better. But I'm still going to play it in the meantime in spite of my complaining because I just love it so much. It's, it's probably, in my opinion, one of the best survival games that we have out uh, now that's available to us um, and so anyways it is what it is uh, while I'm blabbing here I also want to make another uh, announcement and that is that we're going to uh, or not we're I'm going to uh, leave again I have to go on another business trip for a week uh, today is February the 25th I'm leaving tomorrow on the 26th. I'll be gone for just a little over a week. Be back on March 5th or 6th. Um, so this will be the last, <clears throat> excuse me, Icarus video I'll be able to uh, get out to you guys until I return from my trip. And then when I return from my trip, we will continue uh, the series. We'll resume the series. Uh, so just want to let everybody know that. And yeah, it is, for those of you who don't know, I am tentatively planning on retiring at age 60 which is five years from now I'm 55 years old and um, once that happens you know then the plan is for me to to be a full-time uh, youtuber and streamer uh, I'm I'm at this point in my life I'm a I'm a youtuber or a, I should say a let's player who occasionally live streams I usually try and live stream a couple times a week but once I retire, you know, then I'm planning on live streaming much more frequently in, in addition to continuing YouTubing. So that's kind of my my dream, if, if you will. Uh, but I got to get through five more years of work simulator be before that's going to happen. And, you know, there's no guarantee that it will happen even then, but I'm sure hoping that it will. So in the meantime, for the next five years, um, you know, we, we just have to deal with, with the job situation when it happens. And, it, you know, it's just the way it is. Okay, so that all being said, let's get our beefalo unstuck there. And we're coming up to our copper drill here first. And we'll see how much copper has accumulated um, since we've been gone. Nice. 
Nice hit from 10 feet away. Asshole. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but what I'd like to do is I'd like to try out the thumper and um, We'll also, you know mess around with this new salt mechanic and see how all that works. I Think if I understood right the salts just supposed to be um, You know one of the nodes that you find like the oxide and the silicon and stuff like that So we'll keep our eyes peeled for it Neither one of those look like it. Well, oh, this is still running. That's that is that's amazing. Um, it's not even completely full either after all that time we've been gone. How about that? Uh, but we still do have a nice little supply of copper there So let's put all of that into buddy the buffalo and then our next drill is going to be across the way on the island here Which is a gold drill. So let's go get that next Did they fix the aiming? Or am I just getting lucky? The stealth kills seem to work better, but if I'm just doing aiming down the sight, that doesn't seem to work so well. Well, we're three for three so far on the stealth kills. This must be the new salt. All right, let's grab some. Huzzah, we got salt. All right, cool. Okay. I'm surprised these aren't full, man. Guess maybe we weren't gone as long as I thought we had been. Okay, so that takes care of the two drills on this end of the valley. Um, the rest of them are down on the south end. So I'll see you guys over there. They still haven't fixed the aiming. One of you guys told me to use the rear sight. Nope, that doesn't work either. <laughs> Front sight, rear sight, broad side of the barn sight, and uh, still completely jacked up. Come on, Rocketworks. That's bullshit. It's got to be a simple fix. I'd rather you fix my rifle aiming before you add salt to the game. Hello. Let's try this one. Oh, that one worked anyways. Okay. Got a basic storm coming in. Not too terribly concerned about it. I do like the changes they made to the storm system. Primarily that they don't happen as often as they used to. And, uh, you know, I'm okay with the the forecast thing, too. I mean, that would definitely be technology that should, that's plausible for this game. But mostly, that you know, that it just doesn't happen, you know, three times in an hour kind of thing. I'm thinking this is where we're going to set up the thumper by this cave because it's pretty close to the base. Um, and this is a large cave. But it's, you know, it's been cleaned out by us, of course, but... This is probably where we'll do the thumper, or at least the first thumper. I don't know how expensive they are. We gotta, we'll check. I'll check all that stuff out when we get back to the base. I haven't even bothered to look at it yet because again, I haven't been able to use it until we just got back. 
All right, let's clean this guy out. I'm no longer keeping these sponges, uh, but definitely want to keep that, uh, this, or fertilizer. And then this is an iron drill. And it's almost completely full, very nice. Okay, and then we have um, we have a I can't remember. We have another drill up here that's getting something. I think it's sulfur. And then we have a silica drill down back closer to our house again. Yeah, I think we set up a sulfur drill over here. Oh shoot, there's a croc. Rather not fight him in the water. Let's take a health thingy. There we go. Got kind of messed up there. Oh. Waste arrows here. Fortunately, we have the thingy where you can see the arrows, which is a very, very useful talent to have. Especially when you're, you know, using the high-end expensive arrows. There's some bacon. Bacon on the hoof. Crocs all over, man. buffalo alone. I'll take this and this, drop that, and get the buttons. Everything wants to eat me today. I keep telling these critters I'm old and stringy. insist on eating me okay one more uh, drill it'll be our silica drill and then we'll head back to the base and it's actually on the way back to the base anyway let's clear out these water wheels and see what we have for silica. Pretty nice little load there. Um, here, I'll just carry these. There's a bear on our island. All right, shoot from the hip. Oh, that worked. <laughs> of course it worked. It's just counterintuitive, you know, to shoot from the hip with a long-range stealth kill. Okay, so how are you guys doing? Yeah, you're doing pretty good on food. You can stop following me. 
All right, I'm gonna get uh, all of the this these resources uh, put away. Do a little inventory management, then I'll bring you back, and uh, we will go from there. So be back in just a bit. Okay, guys, it is um, actually the next day, so I got stuff put away, harvested the garden, did a few other thingies. Uh, we need to repair our rifle, and yeah, let's just repair everything so it's all in good condition. Well, except for the pick. The pick's in pretty good shape still. All right, so I want to um, take a look at the salt bench thingy and then the thumper. Make a nice little big old batch of epoxy from bones there. Uh, so let's go into our tech tree. And I don't know, let's see, yeah, salting station tier two. So let's learn that. Uh, we have four points here too, by the way. But, um, oh yeah, we need to learn the thumper. So that's tier four. And the freezer is tier four too. Okay, so there's the thumper. So let's learn that. And where is the freezer? It's probably going to be over here maybe. Deep freeze. Nice. Okay. So to make the salter, salt station, we need to make this at the crafting bench. I'm actually very glad that they added this, uh, so now we have a, an early game food preservation option. Right here. Okay, so we need... 25 stone and 25 charcoal. No room for it. Let's grab some rope out of here. Try it again. Still no room for it. Okay, salting station is done. Put those back in there. Let's see. Where do we want to put this? Part, partly why I want to, um, you know, expand the bases, because I'm out of room. <laughs> uh, I want this to be over by the food. So I think what I'll do for now, and this is going to, this is temporary, is let's just set it right here. Okay. Grab the salt, put that in there. Oh, so this doesn't have an inventory? Um... Okay. Can we salt... white meat? Or bacon? Because, I mean, you know, bacon, salt. We can. Um, let's split the stack here. Let's just make four of these. I just want to see how they compare. Food already salted? Okay, what about this? Oh, that's instantaneous. Oh, wow, okay. Can we... Does it still... Um... Oh, no, yeah, it still has a spoil timer. I see it at the very bottom there. Okay. 
Now, after we salt it, can we still cook it if we wanted to? Yeah, it looks like it. But it's just going to be normal cooked white meat. Okay. Um, well, let's make crispy bacon with the remaining bacon that we have. So I guess the idea... Is the idea to salt... I'm a little confused. Do we salt cooked meat or do we salt to preserve it longer? Let's split that stack in half. Or is are we supposed to salt raw meat? Let's just see what happens. So right now this has a spoil timer of 1200 seconds. If we salt it, now it has a spoil timer of 3,000 seconds. Oh, okay. So I guess you can salt either cooked meat or um, raw meat. Now, if we put it in the fridge, does it increase the time even more? 35,000 seconds. Oh, nice. Very nice. Did it change the stats on it? So this is 30 health and 150 food. 100 max damage, 150 maximum health. 20 health regen and 5% experience gain. Nope, it doesn't change the stats. Oh, that is really nice. We like increase the the spoil timer on this by you know, in the fridge by what, about 60% or so? I like it. So what is our um least carrots let's salt carrots carrots are the hardest thing to make uh, wait a minute no we don't want to do that or they give me the least amount of yield is what I'm trying to say no get don't get in there get in there there we go so right now the, the spoil timer on this is 347 seconds uh, no. Not enough salt. Oh, right. Okay, so let's just split the stack then. Okay, so now that increased the spoil timer to 1,500 seconds. Uh, so five times, basically. And then if we put this back in here, then it's... 3,400 seconds. Yeah, definitely going to want to go out and get a metric butt ton of salt. I wonder if you can um, put, put a, a deep core drill down for salt if they have pot deposits for that. That would be nice. Um, What happened to all the silica that I that I got? Hmm. I wonder if I forgot to pull that out and remove the cart. And if that happens, do do you lose everything that it has inside of it? My guess is probably you do. Let's just confirm that though. Yep, it's gone. I think there was silica down here, and I, I just missed it. Um, shit, that sucks. Okay, well, whatever. Unless I put it somewhere else, I don't remember. Oh, you know what? Maybe I did put it somewhere else. I might have... Did I put it in here? No, there is no silica in there. No silica in there. Let's uh, turn this off. Actually, you know what? Let's take uh, let's take the gold and and smelt the gold over here. And I've I've got you know lots of raw gold too. Pretty sure this silica was already in there. So 
Somehow or another, I lost my silica. I don't know how I did that, but it happened, I think. <laughs> I think it happened. Let's swap these guys out. Okay, I made some more uh, bullets in there. Let's grab those. Um, we're going to put this back in here. Okay, we need to make some food. So let's first make some pastries and animal fat. Grab a few stacks of that. We'll make 40 pastries and then we can start making the pies. They mentioned something too in the in the comments that they changed the jar or, or the stack size of pickles too. So that's good. Excuse me. Yeah. Okay. Let us have some roast veggies. Can <clears throat> oh that was the other thing I was curious about. Is it possible to salt dishes that are already made? Right now this will last 793. Now it'll last 1590. Oh, that is great. That means we can make the pies and all the dishes and then salt them. That's what we really need to be uh, using the salt on or prioritizing, I should say, the salt on. Here, let's salt the this fish curry. Well, we can only do four. Um, well, here, let's just eat one. 1,500 seconds versus 410 seconds. So if you salt something and then you put it in the deep freezer, then I bet it lasts for a really long time. Um, okay, so anyway, I want to make some meat pies. So let's grab what we got out of there first. And we'll grab some meat. I need we need meat, mushrooms, squash, and something else. What is it? Pumpkin. Okay, let's make... How many of these can we make? Let's make 11 of these, because we're going to eat one and then we'll have 10 left over. Alright, next we're going to make veggie pie, so we need some corn and soybeans. Um, corn and soybeans. And let's make... Ten of those. And then we're going to want to make some berry pie, which is going to be watermelon and berries. And we'll make ten of those. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, man, we're out of space already. Okay, we'll grab some of these out of here. We can put the rest of the crust back in here because those fortunately don't spoil. And all that can go back in there. Okay, what's it take to make the deep freezer? That I'm sure we have to make in here. We need 15 electronics, some screws, and some platinum. So, how many of these can we make? 19. And we already had two. Well, do I want to make this or do I want... To... Uh, let's, I'll tell you what, let's hold off on the deep freezer for the moment. Because uh, I want to make the thumper. And that's probably going to take a lot of stuff. Well, actually, not a lot. Uh, we'll need four electronics for that. It's, I find it interesting that the deep freezer, which is just a modern, in our time... Appliance costs more than the thumper, which is a science fiction high-tech item, but whatever. What do I know? Okay, so what else do we need? Uh, we just need some screws. Got lots of 
lots of those. Yeah, maybe we have enough stuff to make both of them. Okay, so let's craft a thumper. And we'll put that in... Wait, what? Why can't I put that there? Oh, does that have to go here? Ah, it has to go in that slot. Okay, cool. Um, Now, can we also make the freezer? We need 15 more electronics. Look at that, 15 more electronics. And then it said we needed some platinum ore, uh, or platinum ingots rather, which are probably in here. Yes, so we got 20 platinum ingots in there. So we can make both. You can have your thumper and your deep freezer and eat them too. Well, maybe not eat them, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, so we're just waiting on the electronics, which are done. Nice. Okay, so... One of our stupid birds is caught in the spikes. Well, is it our birds? Of course they would have to do that when I'm encumbered and can't do anything about it. Well, no. I can do something about it, but... Get out of the spikes, you moron. Now the other one wants to go around and get in the spikes. Oh, are you... What is the matter with you? Oh, okay, so he, he was actually starving, but he was stuck. He, so he wasn't really in the spikes. All right, these critters are a pain in the ass, man. I gotta tell you, they're useful though too. Okay, once again, until we can come up with a better solution, um, we're just gonna put this here. And we need to get power to it. So why don't we do this? Let's grab our electricity tool. I'm just gonna eat one of those right now, because it's going bad. And this electricity is normally for this station, but this is, we don't use this station very often. So let's, let's uh, disconnect the wire there. And we'll run the wire to that. Oh, it requires 2,500 power, um, and I think this is only supplying whatever a water wheel supplies. <sighs> All right. Um, think, 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 think. What we might be able to do... is attach see this thing this is only needed when we're running the smelter and the this thing over here and these aren't on all of the time whereas the other one's running the fridge and the lights You're smelting right now, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Probably I'm going to have to make an, another generator uh, for this to do it right. Because um, that line coming in out of the water is on a water wheel anyway. And, you know, that can get plugged up and then stop. Whereas the fuel generators are a little more reliable. Just because I know to check them more often. Uh, so to make another Jenny... the generators. Here we go. Biofuel. So we need steel, ingots, 12 electronics, and two glass. We should have glass in here. 
and we should have steel in here. And then we just have to see what we need for electronics. Put all that stuff in there. We're still going to make the elect electric composter, but I want to get the base expansion done first so we have more room to put this extra stuff. So 12 electronics there. Uh, what are we short on? Copper? Oh man, we got lots of copper. Boy, do we ever have lots of copper. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's just make what we need for now. And then we have to figure out where we're going to put the new generator. Um, you know what? We don't... I don't think we need this at all. We needed it. We needed to to learn it, so so that we could build this one. But it's not a station that we have to keep down. So let's put the advanced one over here. In fact, we don't even really need to keep it down either. We can just put it back down when we need to use it. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do that. So we'll just put the alteration benches in there. And if and when we want to do some more work with mods, we'll, uh, we'll put them down at that point. Okay, so that gives us a spot for the new Jenny. Those are fine for the moment. Okay, we should now have a deep freeze. Yep, it's running. I'll fix this wiring and make it look nicer later. Um, because, again, once we do our expansion, then a lot of the stuff's going to change. So right now, I just want it functional. All right, now, let's grab all of our pies out of here. Wait a minute. What happened to our other pies? Did I... What did I do wrong? I did something wrong. Right here, let's get these pies in here. Oh, it makes ice too. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it won't spoil at all. Oh, that's even better. That is even better, you guys. Okay, so grab this and this. Put those in there. What in the heck happened to the pies? All those pies I queued up. I don't know. I'm confused. Well, we got the we got the meat pies and the veggie pie. Maybe I pull. I must have pulled this stuff out before it had a chance to finish making. That's that's the only explanation I have. Put that in there. Put um, the crust in there. Man, we need some fat too. Oh, didn't I grab watermelon? I guess I didn't. And we can make nine of those. Okay, this is great. I, I like this. Um, 
these changes. The salting is going to be really handy in the early game. And this is absolutely amazing for end game. And, and also it means that you don't even have to salt the meals either. Because they will, uh, you know, they, they won't spoil in here. And it even makes ice for you. That's amazing. Makes sense, though. Makes sense. Okay, so... Um, let's take the rest of this meat and put it in here. And we'll put the spoiled meat in here for poison paste, which I have a bazillion of. Why don't we take a full stack of raw meat and keep it in here for now, too? Will not spoil. And that frees up room in our refrigerator. In fact, it almost makes me... The refrigerator has more slots, but... In the long run, just make a bunch of these and not use a fridge, and then you'll never have spoilage. I like that idea. I like it. The other thing you could do, too, is you could put one of each of your veggies in a freezer. <clears throat> and that way, you know, you'll, you're guaranteed... Well, I, not really guaranteed, actually, because... If you went away for a really long trip, you could run out of fuel, so nothing's guaranteed, right? <laughs> okay, anyway, so Thumper. This thing's going to require 1,500 watts of power. Can we make another solar panel thing? So we need carbon fiber. Um, we need more glass. So carbon fiber, 30 glass, and 30 electronics. So let's grab a whole bunch more copper. And then we can make nine of those and then we'll figure out what we ran out of. We have more glass up here. gives us our 30 glass because this is the last episode that I'm going to be able to do until I get back from my trip um, it's going to be a little bit longer so there you go alright and then so yeah we're waiting on carbon fiber and electronics so grab those now what do we need uh, we need refined gold which we should have in here Grab all that gold out of there. Thirty-nine more. Okay, how many do we have right now? We have nine, so we need another twenty-one electronics. There we go. And then for the carbon fiber. Uh, we need carbon fiber or carbon paste and I don't think I have any carbon paste that's already made if I did it would either be in the machinist bench or in this bench okay so what do we need to make carbon paste I haven't made that in a little while silica ore and aluminum ingots okay we have that stuff Let's grab, like, four of those. And silica ore. Grab a stack of those. Or that, rather. I'm still confused about what I did with all of my... Okay, how many of these can we make? 50? I don't think we need that many. Let's make 20. 
Okay. Man, I love this freezer. It's so awesome. Let's take a drinks there. You know what I also I'm thinking too is I might we might make a a little generator house and get these out of the main house just because they're kind of loud and uh, they're, they're kind of messing with my tranquility and my feng shui and everything. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we might make we might make like a little generator house. I want it close to the main house because we'll have to keep them fueled, but it, far enough away to where the sound of four generators running or three generators running is not too terribly annoying. Grab that. Okay. You are done smelting, so put those in there. And make up the carbon thingamadoodles. We got some more titanium ingots. Those I'm going to put in here. Let's grab the rest of these electronics. We only need six more carbon fibers, okay. All right, let's make ourselves a solar panel. This, of course, means the, thump the thumper will only run during the day, but that's okay. I don't want to have to mess around with trying to fuel it. And it's, it's just, it's too far away where it is from running water. Um, here, let's just put this rope in here. All right, I think we're ready to go set this thing up. So let's um, let's refresh our our pies. Uh, speaking of which, we have berry pies in here. Uh, let's grab that out of there too. Pastries can go in there. Uh, we'll just put the watermelons back in here for now. One of those and one of those and some crispy bacon. Now our food's all. Oh, I still had a fish curry going on, so I missed the the bacon buff, but that's all right. We're fine. We're doing good, man. We're doing good. I need to make some more composite arrows too at some point. Okay, let's go set ourselves up a thumper. Birds. I am, I am, I know I've said this before, but I am planning on redoing the, the animal situation too, because they're just a pain in the ass. They basically need their own area away from my base, so every time I open my door, they don't try to run out. So we'll work on that too. But let's just head over there on foot since it's not very far. The usual load in lag there. Yes, I'm. Uh, I'm very happy with with those additions. You know, the salter and the freezer. Okay, so I'm thinking. I I don't know what the radius of the thumper is. Maybe it'll show us that. But I'm thinking. I was told to put it near a cave because then it regenerates all the ores inside the cave. And you know what? Before we actually do this, um, it's possible that these ores have re generated in here because I've noticed some things have regenerated with some of the more recent updates. Um, so let's just go. It, it doesn't look like it has. No. Okay. Because we would have seen ore by now. Okay. So let's head back out. Okay. So Thumper. We'll put it right there. Oh, this doesn't require power. Yeah, it requires power. 
Why was it doing the thumping thing then? You know what? Let's, um... Let's put it down here so it's more level. So is that telling me the area that it's going to affect? That is a huge area. Very cool. Oh, you know what I'm forgetting, you guys? <clears throat> Excuse me. We gotta protect this thing. It's gonna get attacked. I completely forgot about that. Okay. Well, um... Let's get this put up next. And... Yeah, we're not gonna have a ton of sunlight. What time is it? I'm gonna go sleep and wait till morning. Uh, because I wanna... I want to see the sun, you know, um, when it's not dark outside. Where the hell am I going? This way. So I'll see. I'll meet you guys back here in the morning. All right. Let's also. It is. It's. <clears throat> excuse me. It is the next morning. Uh, but let's make some palisade walls and spikes. Okay, I have got to make some room in here, so let's just throw out some of this, some of that. And we need 36, six, 72. We need 72 iron nails to make four wall. Well, no, let's, we'll, we'll just make three walls and a gate. Excuse me. Okay, so let's make three walls. make a gate um or do we want to do four walls and just pick the wall the fourth wall up and then just keep it repaired yeah maybe so I just don't know if we get attacked immediately or how that works. Okay, now we want four of these. Um, okay, let's make three and then we just need a little more wood. Very good. Okay, so we got our walls, we got our spikes, we got a repair hammer. Get out of the way, critters. Okay, so the sun... Yeah, this is going to be interesting because that ginormous mountain's going to be in the way of the path of the sun more so than it is up in the northern part of the valley. Problem is there's no there's no large caves on that end of of this part of the area, so we might just have to run a very long power line to get this to work. I wonder how much the trees affect um, solar panels, if they affect it at all. Maybe they don't. So we could maybe do this spot here. Because it's up you know, kind of in a high area. So why don't we do that? Let's put the... We'll put this up here. And I'm gonna actually knock down some of these trees here. Do I have... 
room to collect some of the wood from it. Yeah. Okay, I think the sun's gonna... I mean, if, if, if it's a true east to west like it is on Earth, then it's the path that's gonna be up coming through there. So, I think we're good in terms of what we cleared. If you guys know if trees affect um, solar power, um, let me know in the comments if you, if, you, if you know that. I mean, in real life, of course that it would, but that doesn't mean the game is going to, you know, the game mechanic is going to do the same thing, right? So... If it does, then I might come back out here later, uh, maybe even with the buffalo, and clear a larger area around here. And, you know, we'd get the wood from it anyway, so it would be a worthwhile thing to do. Okay, so now, what I want to do is run a line to the thumper. And I want it to be a fairly straight line. I'm going to look at the map here. Oh, we can almost go directly south to get to it. Okay, let's do a mark on the map, too. Oh, come on, weather. Shit. This is like the worst timing ever. Okay, we need to go just a smidge to, to the southeast. Not much. So that's our line right about there. You know, I could I could just stand here during the storm and let the storm knock some more of these trees down. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. Um, let's get... Oh, guess who didn't bring his canteens with him? Son of a beech nut. Alright, well, if I get zapped, I'll just use a health potion and hopefully it doesn't kill me. This is the one time, you guys... Probably the first time ever in this game, as long as I've been playing it, that I actually want the storm to knock the trees down. Or burn them down. Either's fine. So the lightning strikes us, but not the trees. Seriously? Come on, hit the tree. We must be, uh, have some pretty serious resistance to, to lightning, because that didn't hardly hurt. It didn't hurt, haha. -ha. <laughs> okay, well, that storm was useless. So let's grab our wiring tool. And again, we want to point to the south and just a smidge to the east, so basically that way. And let's run some cable. We got power. Now let's put down our walls. Um, I think we need to do it from the inside out. Let's um pick this back up for a second. There we go. That looks 90 degrees, maybe. Might have to make a larger. Uh, well, no. It's going to let me put it there.
Okay. <laughs> the next time I do this, I'm going to make a little bit larger wall. Um, I should have probably done a five, five, you know, five walls, but this seems to work. Okay, let's try it and see what happens. Oh, it thumps. Of course it does. Risk level medium. Oh, that's a worm. Okay. Worms aren't gonna... Oh, they're poisoning me. You bastards. Okay. Oh, boy. I forgot about that guy. Oh, wow. He's got fins on him. Check him out. Ouch. That hurt. Ouch, that hurt. Okay, I don't think we're going to survive this. Can I turn this off, please? Turn off. Turn off, please. This is not good. Take health. Okay, it won't turn off. Is it off now? It's off. Okay, did the worm go away? Okay, here, let's, um... Oh, he didn't go away. Not good. Not good at all. And I've got, uh, worm cooties now. What the hell does that even mean? Uh... Well, it doesn't show it there. Alright, you know what? If you're gonna keep attacking me, we might as well just keep this going. Let's keep it repaired, too. I'm gonna die. Okay. We got health going on. I have nothing to drink. Here, let's take these. <laughs> this is not going well, you guys. Take a health. Quick, quick, quick. Okay. Um. Oh, he's going underground. Okay, we need to try and kill this bastard. Um. Let's keep this repaired. The walls, you know, the thing is, is the walls... And the thumper are holding up pretty well. I'm just not holding up pretty well. Take another health back. Okay. You're only 54% there. Yeah, this is not uh, going so well. <laughs> this is crazy. Absolutely nuts. Okay. Health is low. Okay. We're going to run out of health potions before this is all said and done. I'll tell you what. Let's make sure this is topped. Okay, I was just going to say. Let's make sure that's topped off. And uh, see if it'll finish. Before it gets destroyed. I'm just going to sit here and watch it. No, actually, I'm going to go get a cup of coffee. I'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so the thumper survived, and the wall survived, and the spike survived. The old guy did not survive. But that's okay. Um... You know, the funny thing, too, is that um, I was told this was going to happen by um, some of my community members when we were doing some multiplayer. And I honestly, honest to God, completely forgot about the worms. I thought we were just going to get rushed by, you know, bears and jaguars and stuff like that. So there you go. Um... 
Yeah, let's go get our stuff. It should be safe to do so. Well, we might... Here, we better take some kind of a weapon with us because we might run into something nasty along the way. Let's take a Kniffy and the rifle. That should be good enough. Now we're good on food and water, but actually let's let's get our water out of here. Because it's not doing us a whole lot of good in there. And then we'll go get our stuff. Oh. I never upgraded these to concrete. You know, bringing a, a single shot rifle with just one bullet in the chamber and no more bullets? Not a good idea. Let's see if we can just get past this bear. The game is like super framey on me now, so I need to, it's kind of like a, almost like a memory leak issue. But we're about ready to wrap up the episode anyway, so hopefully whatever that is will leave you alone. What? You've got to be kidding me. Um, Houston, we've got a really big problem, Houston. Holy crapola. Oh, they're in the cave. Okay. Quick, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to happen. Oh no, this is terrible. This is not good. I think this is a good place for us to end the episode, you guys. I need to anyways. So, wow. All right. We're going to have to come back here. And very quickly take this wall down and get our stuff. Son of a bitch. Um... Okay. Now what? We've got a recurve bow and some steel arrows. Um, let's put some leather armor on this time. Not that. I want the cured leather stuff. And we'll take the iron knife. I was not expecting that to happen. No siree, Bob. Okay. We have one composite arrow, and then I've got 14 of those arrows. Um, do I have any... No, but let's make... Let's make some of these. So what we're going to do is we're going to just run in, tear that wall down, grab our stuff, and then GTFO. At least that's the plan. Oh, these take forever to make. Okay, let's just grab one. Um, let's eat some food to get some buffs. Why did we not get the fish curry buff?
Oh, because the probably the the death protection thingy buff is taking the place of that. Okay, whatever. Alright, let's try this again. I am super framey right now. Okay, we're gonna approach it from this side this time. So those dudes don't just go away. I'm going to have to kill them. Apparently. Okay, here we go. What did we not get? I said take all. Oh no, don't do that. Run away. Zig and zag, zag and zig. Oh, this is good. What the hell, man? <laughs> this is brutal. <coughs> the poison must have given us a slowing effect or something. Well, maybe we can get to our backpack this time. Um, you know, without aggroing those guys again. Okay, now what do we have for weapons? This is, this is just bad, you guys. This is so bad. I don't even have any weapons now. Uh, here, let's take a sickle and an axe, I guess. I mean, I can make something, but... Hopefully we can get to our stuff. What does this do? Maximum stamina. Um, yeah, we'll just uh, take another berry pie. Okay, hopefully we can get to our stuff without waking them up again. Good lord. Don't forget, too, I mean, we are playing on survival uh, or hardcore difficulty or whatever it's called in this game. I can't remember now. Whatever the hardest setting is. So, I'm sure that's factoring into this. Crap. Alright, get away from me. Let's not get too close. Oh, wow, we didn't get very far away at all, did we? Okay, let's go. Take all. Why is it not taking that stuff? I don't know. I should have just left it. Okay, no, don't go into the menu. Okay, zig and zag and zig and zag. And are we safe? Oh, no, we're not safe. Holy crap, run, 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 run. How long are these guys going to chase me? Please tell me they don't come in the water. Uh, I'm not going anywhere near my house. They'll totally wreck the house. That's all we need is a piranha biting us. You know, the fins that those worms have on them would suggest they could be aquatic, maybe. I don't know. What I want to do is get out of the water, get to this end of the valley, and 
at least if we die over here, then we can recover our backpack without aggroing those bastards again. I... Oh, here, here. Let's grab our compound bow. All right. Nope, he's still coming after me. We gotta kill this guy, man. Okay, compound bow. Where is he? And they make a bunch of dust, don't they? This is insanely hard, man. Okay, rifle. Where's the rifle? Rifle, rifle, rifle. Where, where art thou, rifle? Uh, oh, you're right here on my toolbar. Okay. Also, poison. Okay. Open your mouth. Do your growl. Why did you shoot <laughs> this game? It shot the buffalo, which was standing behind me. The auto aim did. I really need to wait till he opens his mouth. Health potion. Do I have any? Yes. Consume quickly. Is there just absolutely no getting away from these guys? We're gonna just run. <laughs> run as far as away as we can and see what happens. Unbelievable, they're still after me, you guys. Okay, well, if that's the case, I, I want to die back by the house because um, I don't want to have to run a long ways to get our stuff back with no weapons. That Jaguar's going to attack us. Sure. Pour salt on an open giant worm wound. Stupid jaguar. Hey, worms, eat the jaguar. He tastes better than I do. Have they finally left us alone? Oh my word, I can't believe how intense that was. I can't believe we're, we're well, I mean, we, we died, what, three times? But I can't believe we didn't die this last time. Okay, well, <laughs> I was woefully underprepared for that. Oh my goodness. So I wonder if... If we go back now to the thumper now, are they are they going to repop again? Or are they finally gone? Um, let's take a bandage. Let's put this here. We're going to sleep and then we're going to run over there and just see if everything is finally calmed down.
We're going to do this for science. Oh, not good. Wow. Unbelievable, you guys. <laughs> I have thoroughly had my ass handed to me. Wow. Wowzers, wowzers. Okay, let's put this wood back in here. Um, nope, there's no room for it. Son of a bitch. Nothing's ever easy. Put it in here. Put that in there. Put it in there. Put all this in here. I don't need it right now. Well, I might need it again if I die again. Put, uh, or pick this up. Yeah, let's go upstairs and sleep. We don't have a campfire. Of course we don't. We don't want to make this easy. Um, grab one of those pieces of wood that I just got rid of. Okay. Put that in there, that in there, all of this stuff that I don't need at the moment. Okay, we're going to run back over there. Um, because I need to know if they're finally gone. Well, you got to kill every one of those bastards, little ones and big ones. Fortunately, the little ones and medium ones aren't that hard to kill. Another one right here. So... There is, there's really just no point in putting walls around this thing. Um, if anything, the walls hindered me. So the next time that we do this, um, we're probably going to have to do it on foot and just make sure we are really tanked up. Lots of health kits, lots of ammo, and just kill the, kill them. Okay, well, did we get ore back? Please say we did after all that. <laughs> yes, we did. Okay, we, <laughs> we got the ore back. Oh, man, what a deal, man. That was crazy, you guys. Absolutely crazy. I was so not expecting that. Um. All right, well, there you have it. Um. Yeah, these walls are completely useless. Uh, the walls and the spikes. So... We're just going to pick them up and take them back to the base and maybe use them for something else sometime. And I think I think the next time we do this, uh, like I said, we're just going to have lots of ammo, tons of health, fully buffed, and we're going to flat out just have to kill these guys. What I'm hoping, though, is once we kill them, new ones don't come, but I'm not holding out for that because they probably will come. You know, when, um, as the thumper keeps going, I guess. I'm not really sure. If, um, well, okay, let me think about this for a minute. If I put a wall around the thumper, it might protect it from the small worms because the small worms can't move. They're locked in place. And then I just got to take on the big worms. But they're, you know, the strategy for them is not exactly the same as the big desert worm because these guys can move. I mean, you know, they they have different moves. They're not the same. So I'll have to figure that one out. But, you know, we're going to do this again. You know, <laughs> you know we are. Uh, it's going to happen. 
But uh, anyways, all right, you guys. Well, I'm going to let you all go here. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this longer episode. I could split it up into two parts, but I think I'm just going to make it one big long episode. Um, and remember that I'm going to be gone for uh, a week. I won't be back until March 5th, 6th, somewhere around there. And then once I get back, we'll resume. Uh, we've got a lot to do now. We've got repairing to do. Uh, we've got the base to expand. We've we got to redo this challenge. More exploring. So, yeah, I, I definitely anticipate that we have a lot more episodes coming up in this series. Um, so, there you have it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.